Oh, you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. My son, will you turn off that wretched puppet? Brush your teeth. Don't call him a puppet. Beg your pardon? Look, he's not a puppet. How do you do? He's real. Well, he's real. Mr. Deedy Doo Doo will have to say oh, good night. And remember, you have to be asleep when he comes down the chimney. It's not even a chimney, Pop. Oh. He has his ways. Then I want to wait up. Watch him do it. Nonsense. <sighs> okay. I want a story then. No, no, no. No stories tonight. Just one. And then I'll, I'll go to bed right away. And then I'll brush my teeth. I promise. <laughs> it is said that at the dawn of time, Man, beast, and all magical beings live together under Aegon, the father tree. But man had been created with a hole in his heart, a hole that no possession, power, or knowledge could fill. And in his infinite greed, man dreamt of expanding his dominion over the entire Earth. Spilled in their war with man. And King Balor, the one armed king of Elfland, watched the slaughter in dread and despair. But one day, the master of the goblin blacksmiths offered to build the king a golden mechanical army, 70 times 70 soldiers that would never know hunger and could not be stopped. Prince Nuada begged his father to agree. Build me this army, the king said. So, a magical crown was forged that would allow those of royal blood to command the Golden Army if unchallenged. I am King Balor, leader of the Golden Army. Is there anyone who disputes my right? And in his throne room, no one challenged his word. Oh, wait. What if someone could challenge him? Would they have a fight? Well, most likely a challenge must be answered. But you want to hear the end of this story or not? Yes, please. Right. So, the world was changed. And the next time the humans marched, they felt the earth tremble beneath their feet and saw the sky darken with monstrous shapes. The Golden Army had no remorse, felt no loyalty or pain. And King Balor's heart grew heavy with regret. So he called a truce and divided the crown in three pieces, one for the humans and two for himself. In exchange, man would keep to the cities and the magical beings would own the forests. This truce would be honored by their sons and the sons of their sons until the end of time. But Prince Nuada did not believe in the promises of man. And it is said that he went into exile, vowing to return the day his people needed him most. So the Golden Army lay dormant, locked inside the earth, waiting. And there it is to this day, awaiting the day the crown is made whole again. Silent, still, and indestructible. What does it mean, in indestructible? Indestructible. Indestructible. Means no one can destroy them. Oh. Go to sleep, my son. But it's just a story, right, Pops? Is it now? Yeah, come on. Those guys, they can't be real. Well, my son, 
I'm sure you'll find out. <sighs> Thank you.